everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about what to wear out hunting. The season's just about to start, it's right around the corner. By the time you're watching this video, it will be in two days time. So the opening meet is on Tuesday and we need to know what we're going to wear. Now before we get into the tips, I just want to say that although hunting is a very traditional sport, it has undergone some major changes in the last decade or so. What used to be fox hunting is now much more like faux hunting, if you will. Since the 2004 Hunting Act was passed, fox hunting is illegal in the UK, so all of the hunts that would have traditionally fox hunted, they now either drag or trail hunt. And I think regardless on your personal views, modern hunting is a brilliant sport and I'd encourage all of you to get involved if and when you can. It's just, it's so much fun and you're missing out if you don't go and give it a go. Obviously, being such a traditional sport, there is an element of traditional dress involved as well. However, I think unlike other disciplines like dressage, show jumping, where you are policed with what you wear and you've got to exactly tick off the right sort of shirt, breeches, jacket, and all that sort of thing, with hunting, it's not really as strict. There are guidelines, and I think maybe back in the day it was quite strict, but these days I think as long as you are clean, well presented, and you've visibly made an effort, I think you'll be well received and there's not too much to worry about. So if you are thinking of giving hunting a go, but you're worried that you'll have to go out and spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on all the right gear, don't worry, just wear what you have. It doesn't really matter and people are generally very welcoming and very forgiving if you get things wrong. I mean, last year I was going into it absolutely blind. I had no idea what to wear. I got everything wrong. I mean, my first time at hunting, I wore a show jumping jacket. I didn't know there was a difference. So I'm here, learn from my mistakes. We don't want you turning up looking absolutely clueless like I did. So let's get into what to wear to go hunting. So first thing is our base layers. Hunting is obviously an autumn winter sport and you have to layer up, especially on the really cold mornings. We're having a bit of a warm spell in the UK at the moment, so layers definitely aren't needed just yet. But once that's done and we get into the end of November, especially December, January, layers are so important. I'd get some really good thermals and layer up top and bottom as much as you need to. These ones that I'm wearing are my very thick thermals. I've got some ones that are like pretty much glorified tights, but you can layer up just, you know, don't underestimate how much you will need your layers. So get some thermals. I wouldn't spend loads and loads of money on these and I certainly wouldn't get a horsey brand. I would just get decent thermals. So next we have our breeches. You need a pair of pale breeches, usually either beige or stone or some sort of pale colour and traditionally hunting breeches have a looser fit. They're quite baggy around the thighs. However, no one's going to bat an eyelid if you wear the normal tight ones. I wore them all season last year and no one said anything. Lots of people wear the tight ones. I just think the more traditional ones not only look more traditional, and as I do plan to be going hunting quite a bit, I thought I might as well get into character fully, but they are just more roomy for getting thermals underneath them. If you can get water resistant breeches, that's a great idea, but again, don't really worry. The next thing is your shirt, and I don't technically have the correct shirt. I just think any stock shirt will do. They're supposed to be white and long sleeved and although mine is white, it's short sleeved because I hate having too much bulk on my arms. You know when it's all bunching up under your jacket and it's just uncomfortable and I think when you've got your jacket and your stock on, no one's going to see your shirt so I don't, I don't really think it's that important what shirt you wear as long as you can wear a stock with it, that will be fine. The next thing is stock and stock pin. Now stocks should be plain white but I wear cream because I just prefer cream with my skin tone. And I know that's vain. Sorry. You should probably have a traditional stock that you tie yourself. However, on hunt mornings, I don't want to be worrying about tying my stock correctly because I just can't get the hang of it. So I love a ready tied one. Call the police. Stick the Velcro down and you're good to go. Stock pins shouldn't be dressage level blingy. But if that's all you have, that's okay. I think they're supposed to be completely plain. But I like a little bit of something something. Socks self-explanatory, just wear as many as you can fit on. Trust me. Jackets are arguably the most important item of clothing you'll wear, and depending on which pack you hunt with, the preferred jacket will be different, but you can basically wear whichever jacket you have. My pack hunts in tweed even through the winter, but a lot of riders wear black jackets and that's perfectly acceptable. 
I wore black all of last year, although I do have a tweed one for this year. It's really, really quite big on me, which means I'll have lots of room for layers and my legs will be a bit more protected from the rain. Then we moved to the hat. Proper old schoolers will wear a patey. However, most of the field will be in skull caps with a plain black silk. I think it's supposed to be velvet, but everyone seems to wear a lycra hat silk. Just no pom-poms, please. This year I have a gatehouse skull cap. However, I hunted all of last season in a fixed peak show jumpers hat and no one complained. So just wear whatever you have as long as it's not too blingy or outrageous. So for your boots, it's traditional to wear black leather dress boots, but any long riding boot or even short boots with chaps is perfectly acceptable. Just have them clean and polished, but by the end of the day, they're going to be covered in mud anyway. For your gloves, black or white gloves are acceptable. I've got these thick Royco gloves, which do keep my hands quite warm. However, I've seen a lot of riders wearing white woolen gloves, and apparently they will keep your hands far warmer than synthetic gloves when they get wet. Apparently wool gets warmer when it's wet, whereas synthetic materials get cooler. Don't quote me on that, not sure how true it is, but it's something to think about. A few little extra bonus tips. Your hair should be neatly tied up in a hairnet. Makeup should be natural if worn at all. I do wear makeup when I go hunting, but only very, very natural makeup. And no jewellery is preferred, however, I always wear studs in my ears, so I just wear my studs. But no rings, no bracelets, no necklaces, etc. If you want a jumper, a gilet or a waistcoat to go under your jacket, waistcoat is traditional but I prefer a gilet just because it's easier and that's what I have I don't have a waistcoat whereas with a jumper I think again it adds bulk to your arms so a gilet would be my preferred layer if you can get your hands on heated insoles or hand warmers these will save your life on the really cold winter mornings and then lastly if you have a mac or long riding coat that is perfect for rainy days it's not essential but it's nice to have um you probably shouldn't turn up in a waterproof coat that's got logos or anything. Like, you know the show jumper coats, they're like puffy and they're bright colours and they've got logos all over them. Don't wear that. A plain Mac is what you need. I've just re-waterproofed this one, so it should keep me nice and dry all winter. So there you have it. That's my tips of what to wear to go hunting. I can't promise you that they're going to be 100% correct. I'm still a newcomer to hunting. I've only done one season. However, it's just the things that I've seen people wearing and things that I've learned along the way from doing things right and the things that I did wrong. So, you know, take my advice. But I think one of the things that makes hunting so wonderful is that the focus really is on the riding and having a good time. It's not about what you're wearing and wearing the hot brand of the moment or following certain trends. No one cares. And in fact, you'd be hard pressed to find a logo anywhere. What matters the most is just turning up. So use these tips as advice, but wear whatever you have at hand and go and enjoy yourself. Thank you for watching.